<laughs> you guys getting in the corn, huh? All right, we'll get in there. See what you can do. Oh, hey, welcome back. We are uh, out here watering the garden. And uh, while we're waiting for some of the drip lines to uh, to finish up, to start another section, the uh, little kids are in the corn patch there. They found a couple decent ears. Pulled some carrots. That's a good sign. This carrot's about ready to pull. Good job, baby doll. Good job. Our carrots are kind of hidden there. Corn's all over them, so once we get the corn harvested, we're going to rip these stalks out. That's a moth. The moth? Yeah. The butterflies we have to catch because the butterflies eat everything. Well, they lay eggs and then that leads to caterpillars that eat things. Yes, you're right. They need the bug that goes food, eat the food. <laughs> uh, we're in the watermelon patch wanting to figure out whether or not um, things are ripe. And we get a nice size, or there's a nice size squash bug. Looks like they've migrated over to the uh, watermelon vines. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. Which, that's not good. Yeah, a bug got into it. So anyway, like I said, the, uh, the squash bugs have migrated over to our watermelons as evidenced by the two that I just crushed. But uh there's another one. Oops, gotcha. I haven't really got into the watermelon yet. There's another. So anyway we're trying to figure out whether these are ripe and they're not. So we follow the uh, where it's attached to the vine and then there's a little tendril that comes off where it's connected and that should be brown. Not quite. So they've still got a ways. Well, this plant is we should look for more uh, squash bugs and try to kill them if we can because what will happen is they will They will infest our watermelon patch, and they've prob probably already laid eggs. I mean, as you can see, things are looking really healthy for the most part. We counted last night, and we have about 13, 15 Wow. Well, so it's, uh, it's August 22nd. With the way these are looking now, we're probably not going to harvest these till late September. They take quite a few days to uh, quite a few days to to ripen. Here's another one. Give them a kind of look at it. There's our tendril, and the very tip's starting to turn brown, but it's going to die back. Wow, there's some there's a big one. Again we we look and there's the tender it's starting to turn yellow there. Oh, right there on the big one? No, on that big one. So we got a ways yet. But they're coming along. So a week or two it'll be ready? Probably about a month. Okay, 
here's the last of our squash, which uh, a week ago, this was thriving for the most part. I wouldn't do about it at all, but squash bugs got into it. I killed a whole bunch, but anyway. Well, we're going to get to watering the rest of the garden here. Well, we're about done watering the garden. Uh, a few more drip lines to run. So uh, while we're over there, we thought we'd check our carrots out. Yeah, this is what we've got so far. I kind of pulled a few test carrots. These are uh, Danvers half-long carrots. And they smell, you can smell the carrots. Uh, they smell really good. These will probably be really yummy. So uh, what we'll do is we'll take the tops off because if you keep them on, the whole carrot will grow soft because these tops just draw the moisture out of the roots. So um, we'll break these off um, before we take them home. And then probably this weekend, I imagine we'll harvest our carrots. We'll dig them up and uh, see what all's in the ground, how things fared. So... Still got a lot, of, a lot of stuff yet uh, coming in on the garden. You know, we're kind of back end of it. We're probably going to have another uh, a late harvest of tomatoes here uh, before too long. So, looking forward to that. And then we'll have a bunch of green tomatoes, more than likely, where I'll be topping the plants to try to encourage those to uh, mature a little bit. And we'll make some uh, fried green tomatoes, more than likely, this fall. So. In the meantime, we're just going to hang out, try and enjoy the rest of the evening here. Uh, it's a beautiful day. So I guess that's it for now. Until next time, happy gardening. Bye.